Hi, Father Mullen. I'd like to thank you on behalf of myself and the entire football program here at USD for all the service you provided to our team and to our program throughout your career here at USD. Hello, Father Mullen. I'm glad that uh, this uh, tribute, this video tribute is taking place for you, and I'm very honored to be a part of it. Father Mullen, it's Sam who uh, always kisses your hand because I think of you the padrino, or I give you a kiss on the head. And uh, I'm proud to do it because you mean a lot to me and I love you very much. Hi, Father Mullen. It's Brandon. Uh, wanted to send you this quick video that uh, shows my appreciation and thanks for what you've done for me and my uh, friends by Kappa Theta um, over the last uh, seven years, really. Father Mullen, again, it's great to, uh, to do this for you. You've known each other for 30 years. You uh, and I have been through a lot of good and bad times. You're, uh, your time with our athletes, uh, both as a football team back in 83 to 87 when you were with me and since you've been back has been phenomenal. Father Mullen, thank you for your 50 years of service to the University of San Diego. You and USD are one and the same. You represent the values that this institution is all about. So the first time I met Father Mullen, I walked into his athlete Bible study with a couple other freshmen and I just remember him asking me, hey, what's your name? And I said, Mary, and he said, well, what sport do you play? And I said, softball, and he goes, well, this young man over here, he plays baseball, and you guys should date. <laughs> and we just kind of both look at each other awkwardly, like we've never met each other, but um, it was something that we could bond over and something that kind of broke the ice with me and Father Mullen. I love sharing with the team uh, about you being a motorcycle rider. And I asked you how long you had your motorcycle, and you said, well, I've had a bike since 65, but I didn't have a Harley until 69. And you said that because you couldn't afford a Harley until 1969. And then you rode that bike, I want to say, I'm on over 30, 35 years, maybe almost 35, 40 years, I'm trying to do the math. Um, that was a shocker and a mind blow to the guys on the team. They had no idea what kind of guy you were. And I think that's nice that they find out who you are what you're about, because you're incredible. You know, there's a lot of long road trips, long plane flights, long bus rides, and you made it, the point, you made it a point to make it to nearly every single one of those games throughout my entire career here, and that's something that I really treasure. Um, we all know that when it comes time for the mass before our games, whether it's, you know, hours before the game or the night before the game when we're on the road, that's kind of like your game day, and the passion that you bring to that mass is something that's very apparent and something that I know everyone on the entire team recognizes and appreciates even those who aren't Catholic, and I think it's something that's really special. I remember meeting you my uh, uh, freshman year, spring of 2007, as we were starting Phi Cap, and um, how comfortable we all felt um, with you immediately, um, how easy it was to, to connect and talk with you, um, but how how we immediately had this great sense of respect for you but and the work that you've done um, for USD and, and for, um, for people beyond that. Um, the impact that you have on everyone around you is, is pretty noticeable and easy to see. Every Monday that you didn't travel with the team, which I think may have only been three or four times in the, in the five seasons I was here with USD, um, you would make it a point to earnestly apologize to the team, which in my opinion was totally not necessary, but it also highlighted the dedication you had to the program and to the students and student athletes that you were involved with. And that's something that I always really appreciated and really, uh, really found to be pretty amazing. Father, when I think back to my four years here at USD, I have a lot of great memories. Um, ever from finding you in the SLP for lunch to coming up to your office and enjoying the same view that's behind me to going to Founders Chapel Mass and having you forget to turn on your microphone and talk to those in the front row so no one else can hear you. The uh, thing that we've talked about many times, our trip to Walnut Creek and my very first trip uh, staying at the beautiful Motel 6 in Walnut Creek. You and I were roommates. Um, also going through the airport on the way there and, and you seeing your my shock when I saw some of our senior football players at the airport having a drink at the bar and not having any understanding of why that wasn't good. I attended the University of San Diego from 1985 to 1989. During the course of that time, I had a chance to uh, work with Father Mullen. He was our, one of our mentors, definitely a person offering guidance. He was a football chaplain. Later on, I wound up working for Father Mullen in the sales hall that we then know. Uh, as a resident assistant in the dorms, I benefited. I benefited from Father Mullen's guidance, 
from his willingness to listen and from his bits and pieces about life that help me shape who I want to be as a person, as a husband, as a father. Uh, I've received the benefit of Father Mullen's friendship for many years now. You've been a great resource for our campus and from my standpoint, a, a wonderful resource for our student athletes. I, I've watched how you've tried to get to know a lot of the student athletes, or you try to get to know all the student athletes, you try to get to know their names, you make, make a point of that, you really reach out to make relationships with people. The passion that you bring to your job here and the connection that you try to, uh, that you try to make between the student athletes and yourself, specifically those in the football program, is something that I've, I've, I've rarely seen and uh, it just goes to show how influential of a person you are to a lot of student athletes here and to a lot of young men. And we really appreciate the service you've provided. You truly are part of our athletic department. And, uh, and as they say, you're never busier until you retire. And we're looking forward to putting you to the test on that for another 50 years to come. I just wanted to say thank you um, for everything. Um, and I, uh, I'm so glad that you're going to be um, officiating our wedding. Father, I'm so thankful for all you've done here at USD. Uh, I know you've been such an inspiration to many students, including myself. I've been able to look up to you as a guide and mentor in these last four years. And I'm so thankful for, for all that you've done for me. I know that I'll always be able to look to you uh, for support and guidance as I move along uh, after my collegiate career. Thank you so much. You mean a lot to me and I love you very much. And I appreciate you being a mentor and a, uh, just a guiding light to me and just being who you are. I, I, I just, I wanna thank you for uh, being in my life. I just wanna thank you for being in my life. I really appreciate your friendship and all that you've done for our athletic department and for this whole campus, thank you. I feel fortunate to be able to continue to count on our friendship over the years to come. Thank you and, and God bless you, Father Mullen. We appreciate you and love you. Thanks again. God bless you and hope that uh, you have a great retirement. We're going to be seeing you for many, many years. I mean, I just want to thank you, Father Mullen, so much for always being there and always, wherever you're going, you're always willing to just stop and be like, hey, Mary, how you doing? And what's going on in life? And you're never just, it's never just an empty how you doing. It's always a heartfelt, like sincere, um, wanting to know how I'm doing in my faith and in my life and softball and everything. And, um, I just want you to know how blessed I've been um, to just see how God works in your life through all of us athletes and uh, athletic department. And so I just want to thank you and um, let you know that I'm praying that God blesses you and everything that you do for us. So thank you.